Hello, I am the Mysterious Mind, and welcome to How to Draw with me, the Mysterious Mind. In this episode, I shall teach you how to draw Cyclops, also known as Scott Summers. Now, I will admit right off the bat that this is attempt number four, five, on making this video. First attempt, I was not satisfied. It looked like this. See him? Bad. I thought, not the quality I was going for. So, now... Without further ado, I shall do this, my final draft of Cyclops. It's only just my clipboard. Now you see I drew Cyclops much better this time, and I had retraced what I did in blue ink. The only problem is, after talking so much about the boots and how sometimes legs can be tricky to draw um, because of their different perspectives and blah, 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 you did not see the boots because of the way my camera was angled. So I've decided to be more um, careful and fix it so you can definitely see the boots. And I'm checking. Good. Good. So I have this red ink pen to um, counterpoint the blue ink I already did. And what we're going to do just kind of start from the top. You can see it goes nicely. Red ink is actually better for um, showing up. Drawing. This is Cyclops Octopus. Um... What I'm doing is, instead of actually having you watch me draw the whole thing, because it takes me a while to um, just draw a superhero. Like, I can draw it. I didn't trace this. I, I drew this um, based on a image I saw. Um, online. But anyway, so what I'm just doing is this is hopefully going to be my final draft. If this isn't, um, Good enough, I find. I might have to come up with a third color. Um. Because I'd, I'd get confused more than anyone else. I guarantee you, I'd get confused. Because I always try to make sure, wait. Did I... Sorry, that's this muscle is supposed to be curved. I, I want to make sure I can see my pen strokes. Just follow along the pen strokes. You can just eyeball it based on my drawing if you wanted. Um, I'm just tracing 
Yes. Tracing his gloves, his forearm. I want to make sure I can see where my pen has been. So um, I might trace a little bit outside my outline. Try to get all those tiny curves and like you know legs aren't thighs aren't oval shaped they're um they have little divots and things this leg is like I had to redo a couple times um the boot the boot we'll see it actually looks a little bit bigger than the thigh but what doesn't always make sense, you know, for drawing is sometimes things look bigger from a certain perspective, even though your mind thinks like, oh, aren't legs supposed to be the same size? And that's true, but if something's closer, you know, death. Death. Um, it'll seem bigger, and that's why. And then this is up like this, and you don't see the other leg because it's up on a ledge. Okay, so as always, I got the outline of Cyclops. I usually go for the outline first. There's another tricky part. If we do see the um, image that I modeled this Cyclops after, you'll see that I definitely made mistakes, and that's okay. Um... My art teacher, what I'm trying to, um, what I'm trying to make is, my art teacher would always say, right, um, draw what you actually see, not what you think should be there. Okay, that's that's. Yeah. And I'm going to try to keep this out in 10 minutes, but let me just give a little shout out to the Warp Sound. Who is. Warp I'm, I'm barring without permission. He's just his. I don't know, red muscles, but. Um, this is an archipelago song by the Warp Sound, and they're really good. So I use him for my X-Men episode. That's what you're hearing in the background. Do, do, do. I love the X-Men theme song, by the way. That's why I kind of... I used it a couple times during this playlist. But I'm trying to keep this short so you won't hear all my X-Men music. Okay. I believe they're not running out of ink. Out. Yeah, so you can just kind of see for yourself. Okay. Now as I wrap up here, let me just say that um, I'm 
very thankful for every fan that I get. Every view that I get make, gets me excited, excited, but I'm always hungry for more. But really, um, um, I know there are like hundreds of other drawings channels as capable or more capable than I am. But, you know, I'm hoping you guys will find that where I lack in efficient drawing skills, you know, and now I'm just kind of coloring it. Players, just, just to um, have an excuse to wrap this up. Um, you know, colorful commentary. Um, but anyway, colorful commentary, and I'm trying to um, build a community, and that's why I'm doing superheroes. Um. Because I know everyone loves the mirrors for the past 15 years at least. You know, they have a movie every year. And I know there's some true blue comic book fans or nerds out there. And, you know, maybe I can have time in between um, helping you, showing you, giving you pointers on how to draw your favorite superheroes. I might talk about them a little bit, a little commentary on why I like the superhero or not, but, um, you know, leave a comment. Um, I guess that's about it. I hope this is a efficient strategy for you until I get better and, um, can just draw straight in paper instead of having to retrace a drawing already dead. Until next time, Mysterious Mind over and out.